horror. It's a genre of lots of things, not just movies. But today, because it's October, which really means nothing to Australians, we're going to talk about my top five horror movies. As always, these aren't in any particular order. I'm just going to name five horror movies that I fucking love. Before we start, let me just say, the movies I pick for horror are usually not scary. They're usually gross, disgusting, hilarious. That's what I look at when I rate horror movies, okay? You know why? Because horror movies aren't fucking scary, okay? If you get scared, if you get genuinely scared at a horror movie, you have bigger problems, really. You need help. Because they're not real. It's all fake. It's not real. The only time you get to be scared, well, they're not even scared. The only time you get to go, <gasps> is when they put one of those shitty jump scares in. Like the fucking conjuring bullshit. Oh, oh, let's put 100 jump scares in. Bullshit. Not scary. Jump scares are not scary. Horror movies in general, not scary. Because again, movies. So when I watch horror movie, I, I, if I enjoy it, it's because it's gory and gross and hilarious. Those are my three criteria for a horror movie. Starting... At number one, but not number one, because I'm not actually ranking them, but this is the first one that I'm saying with my mouth hole out loud to you. 1987's Bad Taste, directed by Peter Jackson. This was his first motion picture feature film about aliens, and that's all I'll say. On the plot, anyway. This movie was made for like 11,000 US dollars, which is insane. It's gory. It's disgusting. Absolutely fucking filthy. Also, hilarious. In a gross out kind of way. It's one of those like, Ugh. <laughs> well, <it's gr> <laughs> I'm laughing, but it's gross. One of those ones. If you can watch Bad Taste, pick it up anywhere that they sell things, watch it. And if you have watched it, I'm sure you'll agree. Bad Taste is pretty fucking awesome. My next choice is one of the best horror movies ever made. Is oh this isn't the one with the skeleton on the front. Evil Dead Two. Evil Dead Two is basically a remake of the first Evil Dead, but it's bigger budgeted. They took the plot of the first movie, condensed it down a fair amount, remade it, and then added on to it. And that's basically what Evil Dead Two is. It's great, funny, gory, gross at times. You may also be thinking now that I also love. Practical effects, and that is also true. I love practical effects. CG is fine for some things, but when you when it comes to horror, practical effects, uh, I think they always look better. And that's what was great about the remake of Evil Dead, is that they use practical effects. I, there was hardly any CG in that movie. A lot of practical effects. Check that out too, but it's not on my list. It's just, uh, hey, check out the remake of Evil Dead, because it's pretty cool. You know, it's not a horror list if you don't include 90s horror. And when you think 90s horror, you've got to think of the movie that reinvigorated horror. Because for a while there, horror was not being made and no one gave a shit. But Scream reinvigorated it. In a way, it's a parody of horror movies, but not a straight up parody like fucking Scary Movie, which is based on Scream. Anyway, it's like a parody, but... It takes itself serious, too. It's really weird. Anyway, it's also really good. I think when it came out, they had marketed, like, Drew Barrymore was, like, a main character. But then they killed her off in the first five minutes or whatever. So that was a cool twist. I mean, obviously, if you've seen it before, you know what happens. So there's no real suspense there. But the first time watching Scream, whoo, boy. And when they reveal who the killers are, oh, my God, there's two of them. The good thing about the Scream movies is that they are horror, but they're also, like, a mystery, and there's a bit of comedy. It's great. Scream's fucking great. I'm going to watch it right now. Uh, just excuse me. Now, of course, when you talk horror, one of the biggest horror creatures is the zombie. And... I kind of... I was going backwards and forth about which zombie movie to include. There's... A million of them. 
especially these days. But I thought, maybe you haven't seen it. If it wasn't for Night of the Living Dead, there wouldn't be fucking zombie movies. There wouldn't. It's it's the, the zombie movie. It's the first zombie movie. What's great about Night of the Living Dead is that it's kind of slow. Especially in the beginning. Not a whole lot of dialogue. And over time it eventually ramps up. and uh, It's great. Romero... You know, I mean, if Romero didn't come along, there wouldn't be zombie movies. I mean, there probably would be. But, like, not like there are now. And I was going to put Dawn of the Dead, the remake. The remake of Dawn of the Dead. It probably would have been controversial putting on the list. But I'm still saying it now. I don't give a fuck. So I was going between that or uh, or Night of the Living Dead. But I think think you need to see Night of the Living Dead if you haven't. And if you haven't seen the remake of Dawn of the Dead... Definitely check that out, too. Now, this last one. So, a recent horror movie. And, unfortunately for me, recent horror movies haven't been great. Haven't seen Hereditary yet, but I hear it's good. And I've landed on it. I've picked it. It's in the box. It's tight, tightened up. I'm extending this out. I don't know why. This movie really needs no introduction. So, if you want a terrifying modernish horror experience let me tell you my friend you need to watch Mariah Carey's Glitter boom hey um Seriously though, you should probably watch um, It Follows is good. Not not gory or anything really. Just kind of creepy. General creepiness. Uh, I really like Drag Me to Hell, which was like Sam Raimi's first movie after making Spider-Man 3. And uh, it's, it's good. It's made up for Spider-Man 3, that's for sure. Cabin in the Woods is great. I mean, if you want a straight up comedy with a bit of horror, like what we do in the shadows, uh, it's fucking awesome. Um, don't watch Glitter.